Hello, book bellas and fellas. Today I am going to be talking about what I'm reading for the Spookathon 2018. So Books and Lala puts this on every year. This is my first year participating completely. I was kind of like watching the whole thing last year unfold. I read a couple books, but I didn't read everything that I wanted to. For one, my TBR like last year was really ambitious. I had five books picked out. Two, there was just a lot going on. And you know, when you have other obligations during the week, it's really hard to get to everything that you want to get to. So I've actually decided to go through and double up on some of the questions. And so there's five criteria that we have to meet for the Spookathon. The first criteria is to read a thriller. So the first thing I decided to pick up is Sadie by Courtney Summers. There has been so much buzz about this and it was on one of the top books that I wanted to get to this month anyway. And this is about a girl who whose sister is murdered and she decides to go and investigate the murder. Now she's still really kind of young and so this is actually told from two different perspectives. You have the one perspective where it's her looking for her sister and then you have another one which is more of a podcast slash news broadcast and so it's going back and forth between both things that are going on. And this seemed like a really good thing to read. It's not super long. Even if I don't have a ton of time during the week, this will actually help me get through this because I've been so wanting to read this. And it feels like the Spookathon is the perfect time of year to read this. I actually uploaded a picture of the two books that I was thinking about reading for Spookathon. One of the books that I considered reading for this was Saw Kill Girls. This would be a really good thriller for this also. But I put a poll on my Instagram account and this one won. I am still planning on getting to this really soon and I'm really hoping to get to it before the end of the month, but we will see how things go with how, with how everything gets so busy. This right here will be what I'm going to be reading for Spookathon, but this probably would have been a good alternative also. For those of you, um, I have my Instagram located in a link down at the bottom underneath my pages. If you guys like to come join me on there, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'd love to have you. So the next question is to read a book with purple on the color. Hover. To read a book with purple on the cover. For that, I picked out The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein. I have been seeing this book around, and at first I wasn't really sure whether or not I wanted to read it, and then I've been hearing good things about it. I, I do like Frankenstein. I think Frankenstein is a very interesting story and I am very excited to be reading this. This is coming from the perspective of Elizabeth Frankenstein and she's kind of like a bystander in all this and she is watching all of this unfold and so it'll be a completely different take. Not to mention like the fact that there is a slight bit of purple on the cover as far as hints of purple. It's a very light pastel purple but when we get underneath, we got all purple, baby. All purple. And I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there's a little piece of scissors right there, which I think is so fitting for this because we have the string that is Elizabeth Frankenstein's name right here. And I just love the compliment to this cover. So the next thing the next question in this, and I'm going to be doubling up, I'm going to be using this for two questions. And the next question is to read a book not set in the current time period. So this is going to be kind of historical anyway, because it's set when Frankenstein was doing his thing with the electricity. And so I think this one's going to be perfect for both of those challenges, not to mention the fact this is a perfect spooky read and it's going to be amazing. And I cannot wait for this. So ever since I was a little girl, monsters have kind of freaked me out. And the next question that we have in the Spookathon is read a book with a spooky word in the title. So I decided to read A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. Monsters are freaky, they're scary. I don't like me some monsters, but this one will actually go for two different challenges also because challenge number five, which is the last challenge on this, is read a book with pictures and this illustrator Guys, I mean, this illustrator is just, he did such a fantastic job with this. Oh, all this black and white, it just kind of adds to the creepy aesthetic. Look at that. I think this will be perfect 
for that challenge as well. It's going to be so good. I meant to read this last year. This was actually one of my books on my TBR and I've been waiting for this season to come around again. I've been saving it for this month so that I can read it at the right setting at the right time. I've heard this is very heart-wrenching. I don't know if I'm gonna want me some tears, but we'll see. We will see. And I really hope to like this. I recently read a, another book by Patrick Ness. Recently just got exposed to Patrick Ness and I really like his writing style. And I recently read And the Ocean Was Our Sky, which I really, really enjoyed that book. It was so good. And I am so excited to be starting with this. So guys, uh, we just have those three books, which I'm going to be reading for my Spookathon TBR. I'm really excited to be doing this. I'm really excited to be participating this year. I hope, I hope, I hope that because I made my TBR so light that it will be easier for me to tackle it this year. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me to the very end. And if you like this video, hit the little like, hit subscribe. If you want to receive emails every time I post, hit the little bell icon. And you know what? I will see you guys again so soon.